Top 10 Convertible SUV in the World Ford Bronco Since the first edition was sold out, the lineup includes six trims ranging from the base to the fully equipped while the track is reserved for high-speed off-roading. The Bronco nameplate returns after a 25-year hiatus to disrupt the dominance of the Jeep Wrangler. It gets a legit body on frame construction, standard 4x4 drive, and adventure-ready two- or four-door designs. The basic 2.3-liter EcoBoost inline four-cylinder engine produces 270 horsepower, while the optional 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 engine is expected to generate the best in class 310 horses and 400 pound-feet of torque. The model comes with a 7-speed manual transmission, or a 10-speed automatic transmission with unique crawl gears, which is the first in the sector. Two 4x4 systems with a unique terrain management system with GOAT modes, heavy-duty suspension wheels, and Rocket 30 through 33-inch tires are among the Bronco's highlights. Hummer EV SUV the new Hammer's modular framework allows it to expand the variety of body designs available beyond the pickup truck that was initially shown. The SUV will be available in 2024 with a 9-inch shorter wheelbase to better off-road mobility and allow you to drive in the open air. A retractable infinity roof is included with the model. It is conveniently carried in the front trunk and consists of four transparent panels and an eye bar over the front passengers. The power system is represented by two or three electric motors. There is a big Altium battery with a capacity of 200 kWh in four-wheel drive, with an output of 625 or 830 horses depending on the model. There's also four-wheel steering, as well as crab walk adjustable air suspension that can lift the SUV by 6 inches and a super cruise jack. The premium cabin features a 12.3-inch driver's display and a 13.4-inch infotainment system. Volkswagen Tiroc Cabriolet With the majority of its competitors have gone out of business, this Volkswagen model now holds the honor of being the only mass-produced Cabriolet SUV with a full power top for a true open-air experience. The crossover ditched the rear pillars in favor of a two-door design with a retractable fabric roof that takes just nine seconds to fully retract. The two engine options are a 1-liter Turo 3-cylinder and a 1.5-liter Turbo 4 with 110 and 150 horsepower, respectively. With the larger engine, the T-Roc accelerates to 60 in 9.2 seconds and has a top speed of 127 miles per hour. This SUV's suspension has been retuned to provide a livelier feel and improved handling, particularly in bends. The T-Youthfulness rocks are mirrored in its current 10.25-inch high-definition digital dashboard, which includes an optional 400-watt six-speaker Beats audio system and two-zone automatic air conditioning. Land Rover Defender 110 projects prevail by ECD. Defender 110 initiatives come out on top. ECD Auto Design is based in the United States, but they are still passionate about the vehicles that originated in the homeland of their British founders. This workshop specializes in restoring 1990s Defenders in both short 90 and long 110 bodies, and among those, the project prevails to catch our attention with its custom soft top and bespoke interior. Three rockets are exhaled Borla Performance exhaust and are regulated by a six-speed automatic. The improved ride comforts are attributed to the custom ECD two-way air suspension. While rougher road patches can be conquered with the help of 18-inch sawtooth black wheels wrapped in BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. The Defender Prevail can seat up to nine people and features leather upholstery, premium JBL audio, and full smartphone connectivity. Jeep Wrangler 4XE This Jeep is one of the fewest SUVs that is immediately associated with the soft top and has been continuously offered in this modification for 70 years the most technological Wrangler of today is a plug-in hybrid 4XE 
that puts to work a 375 horsepower powertrain that consists of a 2-liter gasoline engine a 17 kilowatt-hour battery with 25 miles potential, and two electric motors. The SUV comes with regenerative braking in three driving modes, hybrid, electric, and e-safe, which stresses safety. The Fork C can be equipped with a variety of roof options, including a soft top a three-piece hardtop, or a power-operated Sky One-Touch roof, just like the regular Wrangler the Forks E can be equipped with a variety of roof options including a soft top a three-piece hardtop, or a power-operated Sky One-Touch roof, just like the regular Wrangler the Forks E can be equipped with a variety of roof options including Land Rover Range Rover Revoke Convertible In addition to replacing the roof with a power-operated soft top that drops in 18 seconds at speeds up to 30 miles per hour, the ruthless version of the subcompact crossover was designed to further capture the attention of young carefree buyers who would otherwise overlook train show for its traditional executive SUVs. The vehicle was given a traditional two-door style that was typically offered in higher trams, therefore each model had 18-inch wheels. Under the hood, the Vocabrio has a stock 2.0-liter turbocharged inline 4 engine and a huge 10.2-inch infotainment system with preloaded navigation, Wi-Fi hotspot, and Meridian sound system. The 9-speed CF automated transmission delivers 237 horsepower and 251 pound-feet of torque to all four wheels. Unfortunately, after only two years in production, the Scaprio was relegated to a 19 after failing to produce significant sales quantities. Mercedes-Benz G650 Landaulet. There was a long pause. The G650 Allen delay has become as confident as the Bugatti Veyron just four years after its introduction, and its price has nearly tripled. The 99-unit SUV is built on a Chi wagon that has been extended by over 23 inches. The driver and front passenger have a regular closed roof, while the rear passengers have a convertible soft top that can be retracted at the touch of a button. The interior features a full my back treatment, including first-class seats with massage functions and individual 10-inch monitors for each rear passenger. Finally, the Mercedes-AMG V12 turbo engine produces 621 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque, and has temperature-controlled cup holders. The rear seats can be divided from the front row by a retractable electrically operated glass wall. Toyota Land Cruiser Icon FJ40 Roadster This build by the Los Angeles shop Icon is based on the beloved FG40 generation Toyota Land Cruiser that was produced in the 1960s and is still as rugged as the original. The truck loses all doors and windows and its metal roof is replaced by a piece of fabric that can be removed when needed under the skin. It also conceals a number of well-considered treatments. Morrison's state-of-the-art chassis has front and rear curry and tie rock sway bars, as well as Fox Racing shocks and Brembo brakes. The Roadster is equipped with custom-built Dana 60 rear and Dana 44 front axles, as well as optional aero locking differentials. The Roadster lacks heating and air conditioning, but it does come with heated seats and smartphone connectivity. Finally, this 4x4 truck replaces the original engine with a 6.2-liter GM V8 that delivers 430 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. Mitsubishi MiTech Mitsubishi's production models rarely manage to impress with spectacular aesthetics and unexpected features, but its concepts are a different story. Back in the day, the MiTech two-seat Roadster SUV was one of the show's highlights, as it foreshadowed the next generation of Mitsubishi's iconic dynamic shield design. This car has an electric engine that experiments with the idea of an onboard generator. The tiny gas turbine engine generator, which can run on diesel, kerosene, and alcohol, is linked with a lithium-ion battery housed under the floor. Each wheel has its own electric motor, giving the car real 4x4 capability and the ability to turn 180 degrees. 
The MeTech driver's aid system with off-road mode and an augmented reality windshield display, similar to those found on current jet fighters, was demonstrated to me. Mercedes-Benz G250 D-Wolf by Legacy Overland. Despite the fact that the current G-Class looks very similar to its predecessors, true fans of rugged 4x4s still prefer its unbeatable military-grade versions. Among such enthusiasts is Connecticut-based Legacy Overland, which created this comprehensive frustration of the 1990 W461.4, also known as the G-Wagon Wolf rebuilt from the ground up. This SUV retains its stock 2.5 liters 5 cylinders diesel engine with a 2 to 5 speed gearbox, as well as the original 2 speed transfer case and manual locking differentials. The suspension system retains many of the OEM parts, but is aided by new Bilstein shocks to make this shoe wagon more suitable for civilian use. New LED lights were also installed by Legacy Overland. The dash was rebuilt, special air conditioning was installed and the interior was re-upholstered in full crane leather.